This video will explain how to take apart the banders for cleaning and perform basic adjustments. Before you begin, turn off the hydraulic power to the bail bandit. Remove the zinc plated insert. Clean out chaff that may have built up in its slot. Remove the lifter lock nuts. Turn on hydraulic and electrical power. Be careful because components can now move suddenly and forcefully. Extend the full band cylinder as shown. Remove the quarter inch cap screw that holds the locking insert in place. Remove the locking insert. Remove the connector pin. Separate the upper and lower banders. Inspect the crimping area for chaff and debris. Clean as needed. Inspect the punch and die for damage and material buildup. Next, extend the mid-band cylinder as shown. Ensure the gap between the lower bander and the wall of the strap slot is the correct distance. One width of strapping should rotate freely in the gap, but when the thickness of another piece is added in the slot, the strapping should not fit freely. If the gap is incorrect, adjust it by screwing the full band cylinder rod in or out of the lower bander. To do this, loosen the set screw Retract the full band cylinder. Screw the full band cylinder rod in or out of the lower bander block. Extend the full band cylinder again. Check the gap again. Repeat the process as needed. After the gap is set, retract the mid-band cylinder. Reinstall the upper bander. Reinsert the connector pin. Toggle the bander cylinder up and down to line up the holes. Reinstall the locking insert. Reinstall the quarter inch cap screw that holds the locking insert in place. Reinstall the lifter lock nuts. Make sure the upper bander is in the up position when tightening the lock nuts. Reinstall the DIN connectors on the solenoids. Reinstall the zinc plated insert. <laughs> 